jump back on here because I've just got a news release from the Social Security Administration. Uh, I've got it right here. I just printed it off. So this is, uh, I'm going to go through it for overpayments. So all the 2 million people that out there that uh, out there that have overpayments, this is for you. The Commissioner of Social Security, uh, Martin O'Malley, t- uh, today announced he is taking four vital steps to immediately address overpayment issues customers and the agency have experienced. So I'm going to uh, read this to you, go through it, and then I'm going to give you my, uh, I'm, I'm going to translate it into English. Uh, based on my uh, decades of working inside the agency, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll kind of give you uh, an idea of how all this is gonna is gonna work out. Okay, all right. So, uh, and then he, you know, he goes into all the, you know, for 88 years, the hardworking employees of the Social Security Administration has, you know, strive to pay the right amount. So, I'll, I'll put this up on the uh, the description so you can read the, uh, you know, the kind of. Uh, uh, the background, the narrative, you know, he talks to Congress and yada, yada, yada. So, you know, it's not relative. It's relative, but uh, the most important thing is the four vital things that they're going to do. All right. So here it is. Number one, our deeper understanding of the complexities of this problem has set us on the following course of action. So this is pretty quick for the Social Security Administration. And again, I worked there for a couple of decades and that's amazing how quick. All right. So starting next Monday, March 25th, we will be ceasing the heavy-handed practice of intercepting 100% of an overpaid beneficiary's monthly Social Security benefit by default if they fail to respond to our demand for repayment. Moving forward, we will now use a much more reasonable default withholding rate of 10% of monthly benefits, which is similar to the current rate in SSI, the Supplemental Security Income. So basically, starting Monday, if you uh, um, if you fail to respond, so basically what happens is uh, everybody press like, 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 so more. this gets uh, information because this is going to take effect Monday, so a lot of people... Uh, this is going to affect a lot of people. So starting Monday, um, uh, if you have an overpayment, a new overpayment, normally up until now, um, they would send you the overpayment letter and say, hey, you, you know, we paid you too much because of whatever the case may be, our mistake, we think it's your mistake, whatever the case may be, um, we're just going to withhold all your benefits. And then... Uh, um, If you don't respond, then that's exactly what they'll do is they'll withhold all benefits immediately. And what we've seen happening is people get the demand letter and they move and they don't tell Social Security Administration or uh, the Social Security Administration puts the wrong house number or the apartment number or something and the people never get their mail that they have an overpayment. All of a sudden their benefits stop and they can't pay the rent now. Um, or they're in the hospital and they didn't get the letter and all of a sudden their benefits stop. So this, this is a bad thing. So I think this is definitely good. Um, 10%, you know, that's, that's, that's quite a bit better than getting your whole check automatically, um, you know, stopped. So a 10% um, default withholding rate at 10%. So that's, that's, that's good. So this is going to start March 25th. Again, only for, it looks like it's only for, um, um, Overpayments going forward. Okay. All right. Everybody press like. Um, number two of, as he calls it, the vital steps to immediately address. We will be reframing our guidance and procedures so that the burden of proof shifts away from the claimant in determining whether there is evidence that the claimant was at fault in causing the overpayment. All right. Um, you know, I've done thousands of thousands of overpayments um, when I worked at the Social Security Administration. So the burden of proof shifts away from the claimant. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how, yeah, this is hot off the presses, so I'm kind of, uh, you know, thinking as we go here based on my decades of experience. Um, for, it really depends on the nature of the overpayment. So if, if uh, you know, the burden of proof, if 
you know, you worked last year in 2023 and you made $60,000, but you were receiving early retirement, um, you know, the, the burden of proof, uh, you know, that's, you know, that, yeah, that's, I'm not exactly sure, you know, that's, it's a kind of a cut and dry. You made, you know, $20,000 over what you're allowed and therefore you have an overpayment. Um, but some of the other ones, you know, th those are easy ones, but there's thousands of, you know, different variations of uh, um, calculation mistakes and all that. So I guess, uh, yeah, the burden of proof. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of see the burden of proof was always on the Social Security Administration, it, at least in my case, I always made sure I, you know, showed the because uh, sometimes the overpayments were very complicated. And I had to explain to the claimant, to the beneficiary, um, well, this is the nature of the overpayment, and here's here's kind of the proof that you know we put the checks in. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure, um, yeah, um, how that's going to help. But you know, it's burden of proof is on us, so that's good. So. Number three, for the vast majority of beneficiaries who request to work out a repayment plan. We recently changed our policy so that we will approve repayment plans of up to 60 months. To qualify, Social Security beneficiaries would only need to provide a verbal summary of their income, resources, and expenses, and recipients of the means-tested SSI program would not need to provide even this summary. This change extended this easier repayment option by an additional two years, from 36 to, 30, to 60 months. Okay, so this is good. Yeah, this this one I think uh, um, is a very, very good one. Better than number two, I think. Uh, I but anyway, number three is, uh, yeah, up to 60 months. Historically, before they made this kind of recent change that uh, I'm not sure uh, how the field offices throughout the country are actually uh, um, doing it, but the the employees at the front windows if you came in and said okay i have an overpayment of you know a thousand dollars and i'll just go ahead and pay it off in 12 months or 24 months people at the front windows could do that easy um, they had the authority to do that 12 months 24 months no problem easy no problem um, if it went beyond 24 months then usually they would have to get a supervisor a technical expert involved and go through a few more steps and but even with all that, um, you know, if it was beyond 24 months, usually they required some type of proof that, uh, you know, you couldn't afford, you know, 12 months or 24 months. And then so you'd have to go in and, you know, provide, you know, the, the documentation, here's my rent, here much I make and all the rest of it. Um, so this one is going to make it so much easier. You just go in there and say, hey, you know, I make this much money. I got this much, you know, rent I got to pay. I got to, you know pay whatever, pay electricity, and this is how much I got over, left over. Um, so let's do 60 months, so five years. Um, and again, this is all interest-free. So remember, you know, there's no penalties, no interest, um, so 60 months. So up to 60 months. So that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be a game changer for a lot of people. So if, you know, again, it, this, is, this is only two pages. Just printed it off. It just came out today, uh, the last few hours, and it's only two pages. So this, these four things will translate into <laughs> 200 pages of Social Security policy. Yeah, because uh, the Social Security policy is over 20,000 pages. So each one of those, each one of these little bullet points will probably have another, you know, 50 pages to tell the Social Security employees and about, okay, well, this is the general thing, but in this particular situation, this, so this particular situation, this. And as I said, I am going to keep up on all of this and pass this to you as the days go forward because there's always going to be revisions and people are going to say, you know, okay, what about this particular case? And then the commissioner is going to have to come down and talk about this, that, and the other. Um, but you got me and uh, make sure you uh, share and like and subscribe um, and I'll keep you up. And uh, we've only got uh, 77 people watching, but there's 2 million people. Um, usually these videos get a couple thousand views, um, but there's 2 million people that have overpayment. So if you know anybody that over has overpayments or anything, make sure you share this video um and have them subscribe so we can keep them up to date and uh, i'll i'll uh tell them 
uh, and instruct them how to uh, address the, uh, the their overpayment. Okay, and then speaking of addressing the overpayment, number four, and finally, we'll be making it much easier for overpaid beneficiaries to request a waiver of repayment in the event they believe themselves to be in to have been without fault or and or without the ability to repay because that's always been the hurdles for overpayment is that it's not your fault and you don't have the ability to repay if those two if you jump over those two hurdles then the waiver is waived and the overpayment is waived um da, da, da. yeah so uh implementing these policy changes with proper education and training across the people policies and systems of the agency is an important but complex shift and we are undertaking that shift with urgency diligence and speed so um yeah, so now that they've come out with this policy, the next week they're going to have a staff meeting, I'm sure, with all the employees throughout the country. That's what I used to have to do. And uh, then we um, announce this uh, policy to all the employees, and then they, all the employees come out with 400 questions, and then we have to send those questions to how it works. The bureaucracy is sent. We send it to our area director, and area director sends us to the regional office. There's nine regional offices throughout the country, and then the regional office sends it back to Baltimore. And then another press release will come out here, you know, with all the changes. Um, so I'm going to keep up on all that. So the takeaway here, um, I'll answer some questions here, but the takeaway here is awesome. Um, number two, or excuse me, number one is they're not going to withhold 100% if you fail to respond. Um, so if you don't get the letter, what you know, your check is not going to be withhold, withheld at 100%. They're going to withhold it at 10%. And that's good um, it's, um, because if they lost track of you and they and you know they send you a letter and you don't respond, that means Social Security lost track of you. But if you see your check come down 10%, that's kind of oh something's happening, and then you call up. Oh, my address is wrong, and they update you. So, so that so that's good. Um, it's not you know fail to respond. If you respond, then you know then you can uh, they're addressing. Number two is the the whole burden of proof. Uh, I'd have to think about that one a little bit longer. Uh, number three is repayment plans are going to go up to uh, 60 months now. So that's a beautiful thing. And you're not going to have to jump through a whole bunch of hoops to get uh, uh, documentation of why you need 60 months. You just tell them, I need 60 months and because this, this, and the other. And then they have to, I guess, believe you. Um, and then it's going to make it easier to file a waiver. So they're going to have to come out with the policies on exactly Right now, you have to file out a 632 and a 561, possibly, which nobody ever understood in Social Security why you have the, but anyway, so. All right, so there's, uh, they're hot, hot, hot off the presses. So, uh, all right, let's, uh, let me get some questions, and I apologize. I had a, um, a live today on living overseas, uh, expats, uh, living abroad, all that kind of good stuff, and, uh, I talked about all of that, and then the internet somewhere, somehow got cut off, and so I wasn't able to answer any questions, but at, at least um, I was able to talk about everything about living overseas. So, And then I'm going to have a, uh, uh, another uh, live tomorrow um, on uh, the top five retiree regrets. Based on talking to hundreds of thousands of people, I'm going to tell you what uh, what the what the regrets were, other than uh, waiting 60 years to see me. <laughs> All right, uh, the thank goodness the current policy is debilitating. Yes, yes, I agree. Um, oh dear, I missed the beginning. So keep this up, please. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I'll. I'll uh, um, yep, I'll. I'll definitely do that. Vanderpool Farms. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Please explain how the overpayment happened. I will take Social Security at my full retirement age. Could I somehow get an overpayment? Um, you probably not. Uh, after your full retirement age, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, um, someone pointed out, two or three people pointed out, but I don't learn um, that I'm reading the questions too quickly. And uh, so, all right, Vanderpool says, please explain how the overpayments happen. And then uh, they, I will take Social Security at my full retirement age. Could I somehow get an overpayment? Okay, so at your full retirement age, you probably won't get an overpayment because on a retirement, usually the overpayments come from working and receiving benefits. 
And because you are, you're going to be your full retirement age, work doesn't matter. So um, an overpayment after your full retirement age. Um, no, I, I don't think because work doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you, you probably will never get a, a, uh, um, an overpayment. So you're good. All right. Uh, let's see here. I took social security at full retirement age. Is this happening across the board or just SSI and early retirement? Um, yeah. So the overpayment policy is for anybody that has, uh, overpayments, but you've after full retirement age, uh, yeah, you, uh, unless, you know, obviously if social security makes a mistake and, and, you know, mistakenly, um, well, I, I guess you could, I have, I've never really seen it. I'm sure it happens where someone else's earnings are mistakenly credited to your account. Um, you know, someone with a social security number and name near close to you. So their earnings were put in into your account. So they credited your account and then that's one of your high 35 years. So they give you an extra, you know, $10 a month, I guess. That could happen. I've never seen it over 20 years working for Social Security. So, um, all right, Brenda, um, thank you for sharing this great news. There's hope for so many people who are grapp grappling with overpayments. Yes, I agree. This is uh, very, very good news. And this shows you what happens. Um, squeaky wheel gets the, uh, the, uh, the grease, the oil. Um, poke your politicians and people with sharp sticks and say, hey, you know, we want this to happen. So, um yeah overpayments all right this is between you and me this is what i want happen next um this is what i want to happen next is uh um is for medicare how healthy can anybody be in, in after 65 years old if they can't see or they can't eat Come on. So Medicare should cover vision, should cover dental. Come on. You know, they just added prescription drugs. Great job. Awesome. Good deal. Prescription drugs. Part D. Awesome. Great job. Now, come on, dental and vision. So there's that. There's there's the other thing. Everybody get out there and call our politicians and say we need dental and vision and, and Medicare. So, all right. So. And then I've got a list of 400 other things that we need to change. All right, let's see here. Savannah, wow, I'm not liking this new chat feature on my phone. <laughs> nice. Uh, Bruce, uh, let's see. Um, someone says, I saw the Social Security overpayment nightmare on 60 Minutes, but all of those folks were on SSI. Um, not all of them. Um, yeah, The are you talking about the Anderson Cooper one? Yeah, I did a response to that one. Um, and yeah, a lot of those were on uh, uh, Social Security Disability, SSDI, uh, Disability Insurance. Yeah. Um, yeah, they were on SSDI. That's probably what you meant. Um, but yeah, I did, a, I did a response to that one because all of those people were made whole. Social Security went back and did their thing. And my response video was, Anderson Cooper can't save everybody. So... All right. Da, da, da. Okay. Fast and pray. Um, what is the best way to file for a reconsideration overpayment? It's been about five years and they've been taking out $50 a month. They stopped my husband's Social Security and took his whole check. Well, I guess as of right now, it all changes. Uh, but in, in, in filing, so up until now, um, and we don't know, it says right here that they're going to make it so much easier to request a waiver. So um, that's all they said. They don't, they haven't come out with a policy, but I've got access to the Social Security policy. So I'll read it once they update it and I'll, 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 I'll let you all know. But as of right now, reconsideration is super, super easy. And yeah, you're just, a reconsideration is basically saying, um, I disagree or, you know, you want to do an overpayment, but now is your time. If you're paying $50 a month and they stopped your social security and stopped the whole check. Yeah. You need to, you need to contact social security starting Monday. And, but you talk about terrible customer service. Yeah. Just wait. 
there's 2 million people out there. We've got 79 of them watching. So y'all are going to be the, uh, uh, the the tip of the spear. we got 84 watching. We should have 2 million people watching this. Um, it's going to get bad. Um, customer service, because there's going to be 2 million people out there contacting Social Security with their overpayments and say, okay, what's this about 60 months? What's this about new things to do this? What's this about, uh, you know, 10% of this? What's all that? So, yeah, and uh, the phone lines are going to be clogged up with people with overpayments. And, the, and the, yeah, it's, it's uh, I'm glad I retired from the Social Security Administration. I, actually, I mean, I loved every minute of it. That That's why I'm continuing to do this. So, um, Bruce, is your full video on Social Security for expats available? Yes, yes. Uh, yep, yep. It's uh, the, 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 the technical part. I, I did... 10 minutes, 15 minutes on, on uh, um, expats, and that was all recorded. And then after that, that's when the internet somewhere somehow went down. So yeah, Bruce, uh, check it out. It's uh, Living Overseas, and I think I answered everything there. Um, but I'm going to be trying to do like a live, like once a day uh, for the next few weeks uh, with different topics. So I'm going to do a topic and then I'll do a, a question and answer on anything, not only that topic, but everything. So, um, all right. Um, smash the thumbs up. Yes, please. Yes, please. 88 people watching. We need lots and lots of thumbs up. With this, We need to get this information out uh, to everybody. And this is what I'm doing. If you want to volunteer and uh, we're going um, to we're gonna get a, a bunch of people together, whoever wants to help their community um, get this information out. So we're going to meet uh, virtually maybe once a month, twice a month, and uh, see what kind of great ideas you all have to get this information out. You know, contact local news, Facebook, whatever. Uh, we need help getting this information out. Um, oh, my God, I'm so happy to see you on live. My question is different subject. No, that's fine, but I don't find a video about my case. So here it goes. I'm on Social Security for 10 years now, but I'm 45 now. Um, was supposed to be something, I can't, um, but judge put me on social security. Life and all is so hard. My check is 1050 a month and I don't want to lose what I have. What can I do? My lawyer said, don't, you were there to work because true, always sick. Yeah, I'm just, uh, um, I'm not getting, um, do me a favor. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Um, was it the uh, name uh, Sibila Soto? Um, um, type up um, the question you have, and then tomorrow during the live, um, put the uh, you know the longer detailed question in there, um, and then uh, um, yeah, I'll answer it tomorrow. Sound like a plan? Uh, Fast says they stopped it years ago and it was paid in full. It said you owe zero. Um, I wonder if it's a new overpayment now because you. I think you said you're the one that said that uh, your uh, check was stopped. All right, a lot of people liking and awesome, great. Thank you very much. Please, please. Um, so yeah, you might have a new overpayment if you've. If all of a sudden they stop your checks again, that maybe they yeah. So I would definitely call them up and say, hey, what's going on? And again, starting Monday, <laughs> it's going to be uh, it's going to be crazy. Um, so, well, uh, if I come up with any tips, tricks or secrets of how to get this addressed, um, I'll let you know. But um, as, as I mentioned, a lot of my videos, one of the tricks of Social Security is protective filing. So when you have a protective filing, um, basically it means um, it, you can use it for a lot of things, but for say for instance, retirement. So you call this month in March and you say, hey, I wanna file for retirement. I'm kind of thinking about it, but I might, I might do it this month, but I might do it three months from now. You call this month in March and you're protected. So if you think about it for two months and then two months later, you say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and retire, but I want to do it like I did. You know, I want to start at March because when I first called that you're protected so you can go back. So in some respects, maybe the overpayment 
might again how they figure out the uh, the whole policy going forward um so it might behoove you to you know if you've got a ten twenty thousand dollar overpayment it just might behoove you to you know sit on the phone for eight hours to get to talk to somebody and then once you do write down their number and everything um because you'll probably get in there and says yes i have an overpayment twenty thousand dollars and um i want to you know get this new overpayment policy applied to my particular one and then i'm sure the person <laughs> who may or may not be trained on the new policy or you know they're just figuring it out um you know they might not be able to help you but take that person's name and the date you call them and the time you call them and all that kind of good stuff and that protects you okay all right sorry i'm talking so fast but uh, i got yeah uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. What else do we have here? Every time I have had to call Social Security, I've been on hold for at least 70 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and that's another thing. Yeah. It's, I say so we need to get dental and vision um, added to Medicare. Um, but probably the big thing is we need better customer service with Social Security and, and policy that's easier, easier to understand and all the rest of it. And if all that happens, then I can go back to retirement. Yes. Um, but I'll just go, I, I, yeah, I'll never retire. I'll go find something else to do. I'm, I'm, I'm still teaching three classes at the university every every semester. So yeah, anyway, um, let's see here. Thanks, Ed, you're welcome. Uh, um, Medicare Part D is useless. useless. I wish I had my ACA plan. The, they changed my medication to a tier four without notifying me and won't allow me to change plans after I found out the first time in January. You can actually change plans now. Um, you can, yeah, um, this is the open enrollment period. So give my uh, Medicare, um, the team that uh, takes care of Medicare, give them a call 888-817-0446. If you look in the description, that phone number is there and uh, they can help you find a better plan. Um, the open enrollment period ends in 11 days, March 31st. Uh, Greg, SSI gave me 9,000. I'm on SSDI five months later. I received my back pay from SSDI and they told SSDI forgot to deduct the 9,000. Now they're taking $251 from my check to pay back payment until paid in full. Yeah, when you're first approved for disability, um, yeah, it's a yeah, it's an it's an unfortunate nightmare where if you've got SSI and SSDI and in Social Security offices, you're either hired as a as a as, as call it Title II, which is SSDI retirement survivors, and then Title 16 of the Social Security Act, that's SSI. And it seems like quite often those two teams don't talk to each other. They, yeah, that, and that's probably what it sounds like happened to you is you were receiving one and then the SSDI paid you, but they didn't realize this other one had already paid you. And now it's unfortunately, yeah, you're paying it back. You got the money, but you got, yeah, but you, you know, you get the money and you figure, well, it's my money and you've got, you know, things you need to pay. So you pay them and then they come back. So, yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Um, so for you, two hundred fifty one dollars. Um, so this might 10 percent, 60 months. So I don't know how many months that is. Um, so you might be able to renegotiate and get it up to 60 months. Uh, what time are you doing live? Tomorrow I am doing live at uh, 4 o'clock. So I'm going to talk about the, uh, the, the the top five retiree regrets. Um, each live is going to have kind of like a theme, uh, kind of a, a topic. Uh, and then I'll get into question and answer. So, uh, yeah. So when the live starts, immediately just pop your question in there. I'll do my topic of the day and then I'll answer all your questions. Yes, hearing aids. Yes, I should have added that. Yes, uh, dental vision and hearing. Yes. It, how healthy are you if you can't hear, eat, or, yeah, or what's the other? Hear, eat, or see. Yes. 
Uh, they make it too complicated. Yeah, they're, uh, I agree. Um, they're supposed to be um, number four. And finally, we would make it much easier, but they don't give any details on how exactly they're going to do that. So uh, I'll keep you updated. Yes, please, everybody smash the, uh, the like button. Um, so someone says, no, they didn't stop the checks again. They just put the big amount that he owed back on there. Ooh, that hurts. Um, um, yeah, so what you can do with an overpayment is you can request a, an accounting, a human being to actually go in there and play with the numbers. Cause sometimes the calculations get difficult, particularly when you're, you know, SSI or you're SSDI and you've got trial work periods and, you know, the SGA, and sometimes the computer doesn't calculate it correctly. So you have to have a human being with very sharp pencils and just go through there and calculate all this stuff. And uh, so I would request a detailed accounting of the overpayment. So they will look at it and recalculate it and see if everything is correct. So, um, and then during that time, um, they should discontinue collection. So, uh, it's the dental association fighting it, not the medical association. Yeah. Um, is straight Medicare better than an advantage plan? Um, I think so. I've done a, a few videos on this. So, uh, they used to call Medicare Advantage Medicare replacement because you're kind of, re, re, you know, replacing Medicare Part A, Part B, and you're doing the Advantage. Um, and, uh, you know, I've got no secrets. I've done several videos that I suggest you keep original Medicare A and B, but there's so many gaps. You do need something. So I would re recommend if your monthly budget affords it to get a Medicare supplement plan. Um, so you can call my my team, and uh, they can uh, see what's available in your area. Okay, you tried to do your Part D three times and they didn't let you do it because it didn't have a special enrollment period. Yeah, wow. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, forced to join Medicare at 65, whether you want it or not. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, because it's insurance, you know forced to get car insurance and, you know, forced to get homeowners insurance and stuff. It's insurance, you know, um, people that, you know, pay into it and, you know, don't have accidents are paying for the people that are having accidents. And same thing with, uh, you know, health insurance, because, you know, Medicare Part A, Part B is health insurance. It says right on top of your Medicare card, you know, insurance, you know, retirement is, uh, Social Security retirement is it's technically it's OSDI, um, old age survivors and disability insurance, R retired and survivor RSI, retirement survivors insurance. So it's all insurance. Um, let's see. Thank you for the response. I have a friend who needs advice also. Yeah, tell him, uh, tell them to, uh, yeah. Um, subscribe and jump into our, our live and uh, we'll answer any questions. All right. So, yeah. So I just wanted to jump in real quick and luckily we didn't have any technical difficulties this time around. Um, so please like, share, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, <laughs> this is uh, news that just came out. So as the new stuff comes out, I will uh, jump on live when anything new comes out. And again, there's 2 million people out there that hover payments and they are probably wondering what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. Um, and they need uh, a source to go through because there's so many people out there that claim to be social security experts that don't know anything about social security and they're, yeah. So there it is. All right. So uh, that's it. And, uh, We'll talk to you uh, next time. All right. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.